Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Pretty exciting one today because this is a recent money bet challenge between XCAL and Size, and the score is 5-5, five, five, and this is the decider. So it must be a best of 11. Now they've got their own money on the line for this game, and as we know, uh, size doesn't mess around when it comes to uh, when it comes to money, as we've seen in previous challenges, previous games. But he is up against Excal, and Excal also probably doesn't mess around when it comes to his own money. Uh, but I'm going to assume probably uh, only a small amount was bet between the players. It's not Fargo $850 large. It's probably going to be more like $25 just for a casual little set, little set. Nothing wrong with a $25 challenge, and we have a tank mirror. Down in the south, we've got big size with the orange, with the double war factory opening, and up in the north, we have Excal also with ta uh, tank. He's got a tank mirror, and he is with the purple color. Uh, yeah, on the north side of Vendetta. So, yeah, after uh, many years of playing a game, I think uh, when you are tank opening this double war factory... In a tank mirror is pretty much the only strategy you're going to be going for. If you think about your options on maybe a bunkery map where you've got maybe two choke points into your base, maybe you could squeeze out a barracks and an oil capture um, and bunker off one side. Or if you've got some safe oils in the back of your base, you might go for him. But when there's oils out on the map and it's quite an open map, I can't think of any better strat than to do a double wall factory opening. Excal gone for the more traditional. Uh, flamer and an outpost opening, whereas size is scouted over here on this right hand side. Outpost and a gat. I think he was looking for the oil capture because actually, after watching Excal play any kind of China Mirror over the last year or so, uh, he d he does like to sneak the sneak in the oil capture and then upgrade the two war factors from that. So I think that's what size was looking for. Excal has sent in these two units, but they have gone straight to their death, and that is definitely. A good start there for size. Very cagey opening, really. Apart from that one attack there from Excal, that's pretty much all he has on that side of the map. The rest of it is all defensive. And size completely defensive. He scouted these oils, made sure Excal wasn't going for it, and then just actually went back. He didn't even evac and put put some guys in here. He just literally went back. Size has gone for a pretty fast prop, fifty percent faster than Excal's. Size is going to lose his first unit here. That flame wall is not going to do anything. Excal catching up in terms of the XP. And Excal may be realizing that he could potentially be behind here in terms of the tech. So he's actually just already shooting at the oil. Only with the gap, though, interestingly. Not any other unit. But these outposts do sometimes bug out. They don't always attack their, their target unless you evac them. It's something that would be fixed in a potential new game patch in the future. If there ever was such a patch that was used by the community. Got a smoking outpost here. This outpost looks like empty. I don't think you get any XP for killing an empty outpost. Yeah, you don't. I think you should get some XP for killing an outpost. I think that's one of the reasons why GLA typically struggles getting XP against like infantry, for example. Oh, the lowest. That's a big pick off if he gets that. Oh, but size has disabled the. <laughs> Size has disabled the gap, but he's not even running away. He needs to run away fast with this. He's going to save the Lotus. That's a big moment because that's an expensive unit. Best part of 2k, that is. Oh, this Lotus might go down, though. Oh, how the tides have turned. Oh, that Lotus does escape, but this flame is going to target Excal's oil. Size wants to come in again, but he's just going to get detected again. Is he not going to send any protection? Lotus should always be using protection. She doesn't want to get pregnant on the battlefield. Otherwise, you won't be capturing much for, for, for very long. Uh, size wasting a few units here, but I think he's really trying to save that Lotus. Does save the Lotus, but Excal's already getting another oil. Uh, he's already lost one. So Excal is winning this fight over on the right-hand side, despite actually uh, he was behind in terms of the prop. Excal's just had more... <laughs> protection <laughs> over here on this right hand side size is getting the all now size winning a little skirmish here over on the left hand side Excal's now ahead in terms of the XP 
And Excal seemingly has a bigger army here in the mid, and he's got a faster third supply. But what I will say is these third supplies are very far away. Lots of movement there on those trucks. Excal's on a third war factory, by the way, where his size is still just on two. Probably explains why Excal's got this massive blob of units. Size got the oil advantage, though, still, and he's got inside of both of these buildings. There's an ECM heading over there, but I think that's not going to do a lot by itself. It will need the reinforcements here. But Sai's still got control of this left side. Flamer is heading over there. Sometimes you can be known to expand too fast. Like, just expanding over there now as size could end up being detrimental. So, got to know when to expand. Because if he just expanded over there now, he would be losing that side already and Flamer coming in. So, it's actually good that for size that he hasn't expanded there so fast. Excal is bringing a Lotus in to capture this and get back the oil advantage. There is a Lotus here from size camping right next to the CC. He probably wants to capture that CC straight away because a big part of the tank mirrors is getting that CC early because you tend to get to level three very, very quick as tank mirror. Because it only takes a few battle masters to go down in order to get to level three. Uh, because them, them double vet. Battlemasters do give away a hell of a lot of XP. Actually, he's just disabled the Lotus. He's just disabled the Dozer and ran away. <laughs> he's going actually for the War Factory now. I don't know if that's a wise thing there from size. I think that's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, that's bad. Why didn't he just wait for the CC cap? All he's done is annoyed Excal a bit there, and he's actually losing cash here. Excal now pushing, looking like he is leading this game. He's more on sizes side of the map he's got the lotus advantage he's got xp advantage he is looking like he's going to take that left side and there's a flamer in size's base will go down pretty quick though i learned something recently i heard someone else talking about the battle master auto upgrade and actually even though it does obviously massively benefit the tanks gives them three shots instead of one in, in one barrage of shots, but it actually weakens the actual single shot, the individual single shot, by like 40%, I think I heard. But the three-time shot more than makes up for it. But it's not it's not like a 300% damage increase. It's probably closer to 180% increase, something like that, I don't know. Okay, so I've got a big size with a dozer down here. He has still got his CC intact. It's not been captured. Excal's expanded over here. Excal's got control of the mid. He's got control of these uh, important bunkers because in, in a fight, that's going to be it's going to be hard to crack. Size doesn't look like he has a very big army, but he is pushing on this left hand side. But even though he's got the the unit count advantage here, it's not by much. He's only got like a flamer extra. But that tank gun to there could be pivotal in terms of turning that around. And actually, size is sending a few more units. Got to make it important. Oh, this could be very tasty here for a size. Size has got the auto upgrade, so does Excal, but Excal is running into a bad position there. And I think Excal might be caught a little bit off guard by this flamer over here. Got a Vet 3 flamer now, killed the two trucks on that supply. That's very, very well played from Size, because it looked like he was badly losing this game. It looked like he was losing control of the left. I lost control of there, but even, even though I'm observing, even I missed this little attack. Little probing attack down the right hand side. That's a very nice flamer, and that's probably put size ahead. Look at the XP difference now. Size is way ahead. Uh, Excal's opted for helixes. Size wants to expand over here now, and all of a sudden, looking pretty good for big size. That is a very juicy mind drop. Size is a little bit stuck there, isn't he? He's a little bit in a pickle. Excal's now fired the artillery. Size moves <laughs> instantly. Where is that artillery going to be? There's only one gap here. It's pretty weak. So if those helixes come in, it could cause problems for size. The artillery was there, so it did force size to move. Helix is now coming in. These trucks are going to face some danger. Size wins the engagement and expanded on the left-hand side. Size has got all the upgrades for the tanks. The horde bonus upgrade. Helix is now on top of this position. Lix goes down, and that is the bunker Lix. The speaker Lix has to run away. Massive engagement here. Super, super important engagement. Besides, is bringing in some reinforcements from this side and actually somehow is managing to hold. And all of a sudden, Excal is sent packing his bags, running back to his base. And big sides hold strong. Not messing around here. Here comes an EMP. No, wait. Can't be an EMP. Tank drop from Excal. 
Has his choice of support powers been the best? A single tank drop. Would the double artillery on a, on a more uh, secure position, like on one of the supplies or the artillery uh, on the prop, have been better than that mine drop and the artillery? The mine drop and artillery w went as well as it probably could have done. But in the end, did it really have that much of an impact? It killed what? Probably what? One ECM and damaged another one? Size so trying with the Lotus again, but fails. His Lotus plays could have been better. Here comes a, a carpet bomb now from Size, and Excal's the one who's going to have to go into defense mode soon because Size has got a pretty beefy army here. It's not gigantic, but it's pretty decent. No ECMs though. Oh, there's one ECM. So he puts that one ECM up front. He can probably challenge these buildings here. Size has to sell this left hand supply. Excal bringing some reinforcements here to the middle. No chain guns. Doesn't make all that much difference, but it's worth it to know. Yeah, Size is going to the mid, but he's a little bit late now because Excal is bringing reinforcements. That ECM, they're going to go down. Helix on the left. It's just a speaker tower, Helix. It's not adding all that much. Size somehow winning the Flamers with just one tank hunter in there, but that's a Vet 3 uh, tank hunter in there. Interesting little fight. I think the tank hunter will eventually go down. That's a shame, that. It's nice to see it doing so well. Yeah, it was about three. You saw it there beyond the flames. Whoa! What an EMP there from Big Size. It's actually disabled the majority of Excal's army, but is Size going to push into that? Has he got big enough balls to push into this right now? Because there could be a counter EMP from Excal. And Size doesn't know necessarily if there's another Lick spying around, like a, a Bunker Licks that could swoop in and pick off these units. Excal... He's getting cleared out of mid. All these units are going to come back to life any second now. They are coming back to life right now. And do manage to escape. Excal managed to hold on long enough. Ooh, these tank hunters, what are they doing? Could have gone inside of that building. That would have provided a little bit of more defense there for Excal. Size is going to lose this gap, maybe. Size got another flamer here. And here comes an EMP now from Excal. Is that going to disable all of Size's army? Eee, it's pretty bad. Disables the majority of it. There's only a few battle masters left. One EMP can change everything in these tank mirrors. Here's another flamer for big size. Trying to take down the CC. Excal has turned the battle in the middle all the way around. And size has the control of these middle buildings now. CC survives. Very low HP. Flamers here currently still disabled. Yeah, size with these flamer plays. I don't think Excal's done any flamer plays, apart from that one there earlier that got shot down. But size's flamer plays have probably... Uh, well, if he wins, it's probably... Well, one of the main reasons is due to that. His Lotus play has been basically 0 out of 10. Right, the whole game, ever since the oil attempted capture. But his flamer plays have been pretty much 10 out of 10. He's always consistently been harassing with flamers has even got an ecm harass going on now here comes an artillery shot from big size probably the war factory is it going to damage the licks don't think it can damage the licks might be wrong it can take down a carpet though i think can't it i don't think it can take down the licks actually here comes a carpet it's from xcal it's going to be pretty nice it's quite lined up size moving out of the way but is he moving the wrong way Ooh, the carpet a little bit late with its shots then. If it had done it a little bit sooner, it could have killed at least three outposts there. Here comes the artillery now from Excal. Excal's rebuilt his main supply, but he's only got one truck and not enough money to make a second. Size has all the map control in the world. He's still collecting from here. Excal not collecting from here. Artillery comes in, hits the supply, which I think was there. I don't know. if that Was that a bunker there? He's killed at least two outposts. Here comes a tank drop from Excal once again, but there's an outpost already there for size. Takes it down, relative ease. Flamer there gets stopped. Uh, pretty close, man. I still don't know who's going to take this one, actually. <laughs> Uh, tempted to say size because he has control of the left and still collecting from here plus his main. 
Whereas Excal has no control of the left and only collecting from his main. But he wants to collect from here, though. Very, very solid tank play all around here. I love tank mirrors. It's pretty much one of the best deciders you can have in the entire game. Air mirrors can be good as well, but there's nothing quite like a massive ground battle of tank. Sai's going to lose control of this. I think he should sell that. Just stop the veterancy on these units becoming even stronger because it could make a hell of a difference later. Here comes a mini attack from Sai's, as well as a carpet. And Excal now has no money to rebuild his supplies. He's going to have to sell a war factory in a prop at the very minimum. Probably even two war factories if he's able to squeeze a dozer out and start collecting again. Sai's just has to camp it out now, really. There is an attack here from Excal, but there's quite a few units here from Sai's as well. I have a feeling he could probably hold this. Speaker Tower Licks is going to come in, probably give these units a bit of a boost on the ground. Ooh, this Licks could be annoying, but there is a gap being brought in. Yes, Excal's going to be completely forced back here. He's running away now with just two ECMs plus this Helix. And Sai's got a beast of a ground army. He's about to capture CC. Excal's selling a building. Uh, it's looking very bad. Here comes a carpet bomb. He even knows. He knows there's a Lotus around here. He did a potluck shot hoping that he would hit it. But actually, the Lotus was way back here. Forces the sale of the CC. Excal's still in with a chance because he has two ECMs and rebuilding his main supply. But it's like you're talking 99% to 1 here. The chance of Excal winning because he's going to need to delay size like in the next four minutes minimum in order to get something out that can deal with this. But size is still collecting, still producing. He's even collecting from here now. This is looking in the bag for big size. Size just seems to be intercepting every kind of attack here from Excal. Just seems to be defending it. It was looking very good for Excal all up until. That flamer there on the right-hand side that took down that third supply and then pushed a little bit deeper into the base. That was the thing that kind of flipped things. And Excal now losing everything. He's only got one war factory left. Probably going to hang in there right to the last minute knowing his own money is probably on the line. Only had a war factory and size with an absolutely dominant performance there. That was like super, super high level because the first opening minutes, Excal looked completely in control but like i said ever since that flamer on the right side took out excal's third supply that kind of weakened him and then he's seeing excal never really caught up in terms of the economy so size did he create more units yeah created more units because he's collected more even though excal actually had three war factories so yeah maybe excal just needed a few units on the right hand side to guard mode and stop that flamer from coming in then i think that probably would have been excal's game but um, in a decider like that at that much of a high level there's only going to be very few minimal mistakes and they're going to add up and in the end, uh, cause the uh, cause the loss or or the win. So yeah, GG. Well played to size this time. Were you impressed with this tank mirror? Do you think it's the best decider in the game, or do you prefer other ones like GLA mirrors or uh, air mirrors? Let me know. Congratulations to size on winning this best of eleven. Just recently, 30th of March, I believe, against Excal. GG. Well played.